On Tuesday the 9th of October 1984, a legacy was born. The first episode of an adaption of the popular children's books The Railway Series was published, and it took the world by storm. It was renamed Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends for TV, and the first episode to air was Thomas and Gordon. The plot of this episode is very simple. Thomas works as a station pilot at the big station, which is Knapford in the TV show. He works at the station all day, whereas the other engines are only briefly at the station before they leave of their trains or go to the sheds. Because Thomas only ever sees them waiting at a platform or going off to rest, and he doesn't understand their jobs as he's never pulled a train before, he doesn't believe they can possibly be working harder or even as hard than he does. He doesn't realise pulling a non-stop express train every day is pretty tiring, so he's a cheeky jerk to Gordon and wakes him up, teasing him for never doing any hard work. Gordon, understandably, wants revenge. One morning, Thomas is late getting the express coaches ready. In the rush and confusion, they completely forget to uncouple Thomas from the coaches, and he gets pulled along behind the express. He goes away faster than he is comfortable with, and when they get to the first station, Gordon tells him he now knows what hard work is. This episode is a perfect example of the core appeal of Thomas. It's a simple plot, nothing groundbreaking, but is done so well that you can't help but love it. It's also straight off the bat, reinforces that this is a family show. This wasn't intentional, as Brit has said she hired him for his voice rather than his celebrity status, but adults who are in the same room as a kid watching it will immediately hear Ringo Starr's voice, a former member of the Beatles, and may be more inclined to give it a chance. When it comes to an episode, there are four main things that need to be considered. The writing, the narration, the music, and the model work. And it's safe to say that all four hit their strides straight away. They obviously weren't at their best, but you don't want them to be at their very best straight away. You want to give them time to peak. And for a first attempt, they were all very good. Obviously, most of the writing came from Audrey, but the other three were all down to the show crew. Ringo Starr does a great job. I said before that he's in my top two narrators of the show. That may not be true anymore, but he's definitely still top three. And this potential change has got nothing to do with him going down in my estimations, but someone else rising higher. The music is also fantastic. Gordon's theme is a great one. I don't have any specific memories of the music from my childhood other than the theme tune, but I do remember finding other kids shows less appealing because this was the kind of music I had come to expect from a kids TV show. And the model work is also brilliant. Again, Mitten would definitely improve as the show went on, but this is extremely good for a first episode. I do remember as a child that I never got the impression that this was a toy railway, or even models. It all felt very real, and very big in scale, especially this one shot of Gordon. Nothing about this world felt toy-like or small, it all felt real. The closing shot is one that always stuck out for me, even from a very early age. I'd say this is a contender for one of the most iconic shots of the whole show. When it came to adapting the book, they stayed very loyal to the source material, as was the theme with the first two seasons. There were a few minor changes, but nothing too severe. One noticeable change, for me at least, is that 
In the episode, you get the impression Thomas knows straight away that Gordon is pulling him along. In the book, they make it very clear that Thomas doesn't realise he's still coupled to the train, until it starts getting too fast and he wants to stop. I personally prefer the book version, but it's not that big of a deal, both work very well. One issue I do have with both the Railway Series story and the TV episode is the last line. Apparently, after this, Thomas makes sure he is never cheeky to Gordon again, and yet there are episodes where he is, namely the start of Down the Mine. While I can understand this in the book, as Audrey probably didn't have solid plans for what he'd do next, the TV series knew what stories they were adapting for the first season, and Down the Mine was one of them. In fact, it was the pilot episode that they made before this one, so they knew Thomas would be cheeky to Gordon again. I think this is just a case of Audrey not having everything planned out, and the TV crew following exactly what he had said in the story, which I can get behind. If there's something as good as the railway series, and something Audrey had been very cautious on even allowing a TV adaption of in the first place, I'd also want to stick as closely as I could to the source material. The decision to make this the first episode of the TV show was a good one in my opinion. Thomas was the most popular character from the books, and the number one engine, so the decision was made to have the show centred around him. You then need to have the first episode focus on Thomas, and since he didn't appear until the second book, you have to use the second book as your first starting point. It's also definitely the best of the four stories to use as the season opener. You can't have Breakdown Train as the first one, as he has to work as station pilot before getting his branch line, and train and trucks wouldn't work. First as Thomas goes on a character arc over the book, and those have to be the middle two. I will go into that more when I look at those two episodes. And also because this is simply the best story. All four of them are fairly simple, but this has the potential, especially if the first three, to make it the biggest. It also sets up the characters of both Thomas and Gordon extremely well. There are, however, a couple of disadvantages to this being the first episode, but I will get into that when I review tomorrow's episode. Another interesting thing to note is that the German audiobook of this story features an extra scene where Gordon feels guilty about what he did to Thomas. As a standalone story, I quite like this edition, but as part of an overall story, I feel like this is too early for Gordon to start showing a softer side. People may disagree with me on that one, but I think you do have to wait a bit longer before you can do that. My favourite thing from this episode is quite tough to pick. I considered going for the closing shot, but in the end decided on Gordon's theme, and the express scene. It's safe to say that the music is a factor in what made Thomas a success, and the individual character themes were a great addition. Gordon's is a great one, and really reflects his character, and adds an extra element to that scene. In my Allcroft era lookback video, I had this episode in the second tier of six, light blue for a great episode, and I stand by that. If this was a mid-season episode, it may be pushed down to the good tier, I'm not sure whether or not I would, as I still love this episode, but there's a chance. The fact it opens the show and does a great job of it gives it a few extra points in my book. So that was the end of episode 1 of my brand new series. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss episode 2, which will be coming out tomorrow. There'll be an episode every day, barring Sundays. Please comment down below what your thoughts on Thomas and Gordon are, and I will see you all tomorrow.